Hey guys, I start talking about antiderivatives and the fundamental theorem of calculus. All right. So what we learned in my last video. Uh, so if f is continuous function on this close interval a b, right? So so if you define uh, this upper case f like this this is the uh, the area under the curve between a and x right x in between a and b right so this function is continuous and also differentiable continuous on this close interval and differentiable on this open interval and if you take the derivative take the derivative of this thing Magically, you get f of f. Magically, you get f for each point in this open interval a b, right? And we uh, and we know the the antiderivative, right? We so here we can so this is the definition of antiderivative, right? Capital F is said to be an antiderivative of f on this close into a b that that uppercase f should be continuous on the close into and if you take the derivative of of that uppercase f uh, you had it turn, turns out to be same uh, lowercase f for each element in this open interval right so so let's do this problem here the, these problem and suppose f is an antiderivative of f on this close interval that means capital f yeah that uppercase f should be continuous on this so according to this definition uppercase f should be continuous on this close interval and the derivative of that function uppercase f is same with lowercase f over this open interval right mm -hmm. let's write that mm -hmm. so yeah so we know that f per case f is continuous continuous on this a b close interval uh, if you take the derivative of this function so c for each for each each c in a b open into if you take the derivative of uppercase f you turns out to be the lowercase f so this is miracle this is a miracle right it's a miracle uh-huh now look at this one here show that for each real number k the function is defined this uh -huh. per case g is same with uh, upper case f plus k is also an it's also an antiderivative of f uh -huh. we know that f is an antiderivative of f that means f is continuous so if you add a constant to that, so you are shifting that function to over y-axis, that means g also continuous. Uh -huh, g also continuous on this close interval. If you differentiate g with respect to x, what do you get? g prime. If you differentiate g with respect to x, you get g prime and g is equal is equal to f prime plus you differentiate that constant get zero right uh-huh so f prime 
so if prime is a with did this lower case f so this one is true for all elements for each element for each for each C in this open into A B. Uh huh. Uh huh. So we know that capital G is continuous because it is uh, yeah G is continuous on close into A B and if you take the derivative of that you you get the lower case f so that means according to the definition of antiderivative so g is also an antiderivative of f lower case f yeah this one so g is also an antiderivative of f all right let's uh talk about this problem here suppose that f and g are two antiderivatives of f lowercase f on this close interval uh -huh, then that means f and g are continuous on this close interval and if you take the derivative you get the lowercase f on on open interval a b right we know that right show that the x is a constant k constant real constant such that f is same with uppercase g plus that constant uh-huh so uh, all right mm -hmm. all right g and f uppercase f and g are antiderivatives then we know that when then we know that f and g are continuous on this close interval and if you take the derivative if you take the derivative you get lowercase f on this uh, open interval now i define a function like this capital h is the difference between these two functions f and G, G and F, right? So, because F and G are continuous on close interval A, B, H also continuous on, on that interval. So, let's uh, now let's take the derivative of this. Let's differentiate this with respect to X. Then, so you get this H prime is equal to G prime minus f prime uh-huh so we know that g prime and g prime and f prime are say with simple f on this open interval a b uh-huh so h h prime of c is equal to f Sim, uh, lower case f of c minus lower case f of c which is zero uh -huh. that means uh -huh, this is a continu this is a continuous function and its derivative is zero over this close uh, over this open interval for 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 all for all for all c in a b into right for all uh, this is true for all uh, c in this interval that means according to mean value theorem this h h so should be a constant constant value k uh-huh so so this should be equal to 
so this should be equal to a constant that means that means that means yeah f is equal to g plus k all right all right let's uh, in my next video i hope to talk about the this theorem this is the second second part of uh, the fun, uh, fundamental theorem of calculus i hope to discuss this theorem in my next video i hope you understood these two problems all right thanks